Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Uh, in today's video, we want to discuss about the time value of money. Time value of money is the economic concept that widely used in businesses and investing, and it is used to estimate the value of money over time. And this concept states that the value of money change over time. The time value of money is the concept that money you have now is worth more than the analytical sum in the future due to its potential earning capacity. This core principle of finance holds that the forward money can earn interest. Any amount of money is worth more the sooner it is received. But at the same time, the time value of money also referred to as present discounted value means the value can increase but at the same time the value of money also can decrease so what do you think the value of 15 ringgit in 2020 compared to 15 ringgit in 2025 15 ringgit in 2020 versus 15 ringgit in 2025. Okay. Another scenario is okay, in 2015, you purchase a house with 115,000, and at the same time, you also purchase a car which costs you 115,000. What do you expect the price of the house in 2020 and the price of the car in 2020? So, what does this mean? It is simple. The value of money is not static. It changes and this is thus over time. It can increase and at the same time, it also can decrease depending on the various economic factors. Okay. Take for example, the house that we purchased in 2015, in 2020, the price of the house will increase, but in terms of the car, okay, the price of the car in 2020 will decrease. So the time value of money explains the change in the amount of money over time for funds owned by or owned by a corporation or individual. It indicates the relationship between time and money. That money available at the present time is worth more than the analytical sum in the future due to its potential earning capacity. A 10 ringgit received today is worth more than 10 ringgit to be received tomorrow. This is because the money you receive today can be invested to earn interest. For example, money deposited into a saving account earns a certain interest rate or rate of return and is therefore said to be compounding in value. Okay. As example, if you were given 100 ringgit today and invested it at an annual rate of only 10%, it could be worth 110 ringgit at the end of one year. So we can say the future value of 100 ringgit today is equivalent with the 110 ringgit with a given a 10% interest rate a year. In another perspective, yeah, uh, inflation has the reverse effect on the time value of money. Because of the constant decline in the purchasing power of money, 
and an invested dollar is worth more in the present than the same uninvested dollar will be in the future. So the economic factors like inflation can affect your purchasing power now and in the future. This is because the value of your money will have likely decreased over the one year period in the case of inflation. Another way to view the time of money is that time ringgit may purchase more or less items at different points in time. Let's say in, in terms of 40 chanai, yeah. 10 ringgit in 1995, you can purchase 20 roti chanai because at that time it would only cost you 15 cents per unit. But in 2019, in 2020, the 10 ringgit, you only can purchase 10 roti chanai because the price per unit of return increase. So from 20 roti chanai in 1995, now in 2019 or 2020, only 10 roti chanai can be purchased with the 10 ringgit. So if you have 10 ringgit in 2025, how much you can purchase roti chanai? So in this example, shows that as time flows, the value of money declines. And as conclusion in our discussion in terms of time value of money concepts, it shows that the time value of money is the most important concept in engineering economy. So that's all for our discussion on this time value of money concept. So see you in the next video. Thank you.